When we think about Autodesk Fusion 360 and what attributes make it a unique product, one of the more obvious features is the ability for the program to solve studies on the cloud. It is possible that you have been performing finite element analysis for some time and wondering to yourself why anyone would ever want to utilize a product that leverages the cloud. Well, we know that one of the great things about simulation is the ability for us to explore many different variations before we ever set off to manufacture the first physical part. We can examine different configurations of shapes, different materials, loads, and more. Just yesterday, I was working on a model where I was confident in the material, the geometric shape, and all the loading I had applied, but I was wondering if I had utilized a good mesh or if my results would potentially change if I went to a smaller mesh size. These are the types of situations where Autodesk Fusion 360 shines, with the ability to allow us to set up many different studies and send those off to the cloud to solve. While the solves are being completed using the cloud, this frees up my computer's resources so that I can work on a different design study, I can concentrate on some other different task, or if I'm on my way home or somewhere else, I can even shut down the computer and receive my analysis solutions the next time that I start Fusion and open the model. So let's go ahead and take a look. Here, I already have two different studies set up that I know I want and need to analyze for this part. In study number one, I have the material defined as AISI 302. It also has a load in the minus Z direction, and I have chosen a particular mesh size for it. I have cloned that study into study number two, and then I changed the material in this study to be aluminum 6061. The direction of the force is in the X direction, and I have also utilized a slightly finer mesh. When you clone a study, all the items in the browser will be copied over. The analysis type, the materials, loads, and constraints. Of course, any of these items may be edited. So let us imagine that I know I want to do a third study and explore something different. I'm not sure what else yet I might want to look at, whether it's a different material, load, or magnitude of load, but I know I'll want to look at at least one more study. To create the third study, I can just right mouse click on study one or study two in the browser and choose the option to clone study. Having created the third study, I want to spend some time thinking about what I want to do differently with it, but I know that studies one and two are all ready to go and I need to get them solved so that I can review and share their results. This is where the other half of our Autodesk Fusion 360 equation comes into play, the fact that we can offload this work to the cloud. I go up and I press the solve button and I can see that studies one and two are ready for solving. I can click the checkboxes to have both of these solve and make sure that the on cloud is checked to offload the analysis task to the cloud. Again, this frees up the resources on my PC so that I can continue to work without the overhead of the analyses taxing my computer. When I'm ready, I press the solve button. The dialog window will show me the progress of those solves from uploading to the analysis being in progress to download and complete. As I mentioned at the beginning, while these solves are running, I am free to work on a different scenario, such as study number three, or even to shut down the program and open it sometime later when I am ready to review the results of these studies. Note also that there is an indication in the browser window as shown by the blue circle whenever an analysis is in progress. Now that my analyses have completed, I can either continue working on what I was working on, or I can take a pause from that and take a look at the results. I can go over to the browser, select the study and activate that I want to review, and in the results environment, I can take a look at the different types of results. If I want to see the results from the first study, again, all I need to do is go over to the browser, activate it, and again, I can review the various results from that particular study, all analyzed on the cloud. Thank you.